All right, so here we are looking at, uh, we're going to do an assessment of JBL. So JBL, Jabil Transportation Company here that I bought, let's see, back in August the 8th, and we're now September the 2nd. So I've had it for almost a month. Um, I bought this using the GAN fan strategy I explained earlier. So when I bought it, I was watching around this time, and I could see, you know, that it was coming up above the uh this line here which you know becomes like a support line um and i was like okay cool so it's it's trading above it's established above uh i waited for this day to sort of ver validate like all right yeah this stock's above we're gonna buy in uh bought in uh, immediately fell so i was like oh man that's great um, but i held on to it uh, i was looking to do a one-to-one -one ratio here make about nine percent off the trade almost ten percent um bounce back it started going up 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 i was like all right cool um this looks really good uh and then it's sort of falling down and this is where we are now during the second um some of this has to do with just things happening within the market uh talking about interest rates inflation all this other stuff most of the market's been kind of down for the past uh, past week here um but this isn't this isn't a good look um but i wanted to go back and take it's been about a month take a look at it and see you know what's going on uh, with this particular trade so this zone here that i just highlighted this is sort of where i'm looking to do my profit and loss and the way i do this uh, i only do the one-to-one -one ratio uh, so i'll come in when i enter a trade and i'll say okay where do i want my stop to be or other words other words uh, where am i going to take my loss at um, I'm still sort of refining what this looks like, uh, which is why I want to go back and look at this one in particular. Um, so I set it down here at the uh, 55.43 mark, which, you know, I think thinking back on how I was looking at this initially, I was, I was trying to figure out, you know, I'm looking back in this area, like where where is this resistance line going to be? Uh, and I kept following these tails, I think, these long tails on the on the stocks. Going, oh man, you know, it's gonna hit down here. Oh, I need to give a little room to work. So ultimately that's kinda how I came up with this fifty five point forty three uh, mark. Uh but now sort of thinking back in retrospect, what this price should have looked like is I probably should have my stop around around here or so so i'm looking at the, the bottoms of these green bars right uh so, you know because obviously this is going to be the top these are the days if i would have set it there i don't know if it would have made much of a difference but i'm thinking that would have been better and of course it would have shrunk this down a little bit um to about here so just some thoughts uh i'll probably revisit this video in the future and see what that looks like but that's sort of my idea going forward um is i'm looking for like two or three of these green bars uh and like line up where that bottom is going to be and then that's going to be now where my stop is and then obviously do a one-to-one -one ratio and that'll be kind of where where it all plays out um, but that's what I'm thinking. That's my review, my month review of JBL that I've had uh, right now. I'm hoping <laughs> it comes back up. I don't know. It's it kind of seem it's sort of, I thought, I thought it would, you know, uh, respect this, this line as a support line and maybe come back up. There is sort of a cup with handle uh, pattern going on right here. Um, but today it did not bounce back so still got a little bit of room that it can work with you know obviously once it hits down here it's going to sell um so maybe maybe we can hope it comes back in the next couple of days and goes all the way up i'm not very optimistic it'll hit my 9.9 .9, i'm gonna keep an eye on it uh see what happens